Hello, hello. What is going on, Unblinded Movement? And welcome to the Unblinded Huddle, the number one place to start your day with a daily dose of integrity-based human influence. My name's Fernando, and today, today's Trajectory Tuesday. And as we, you know, wake up for, for some at 8.30, for others 7.30, 6.30, even 5.30, uh, thank you for being here. Um, thank you for being present. Thank you for bringing your minds, your hearts, your energy. They are felt, uh, and we are grateful for your presence within the unblinded movement. So over to you to give you some moments to align and bring yourself to this call. On Trajectory Tuesday, we talk about micro distinctions. We talk about um, you know where we're going. So on this Trajectory Tuesday, what is a micro distinction that you can focus on? that will make a lasting difference for you. What is that micro distinction? Is it, you know, answering your phone less? Is it, you know, taking that extra 30 minutes to write? Um, what is that micro distinction? Is it time blocking, journaling? Is it, you know, your values? Is it your beliefs? Is it your focus? You need to exercise more to change your physiology. Is it your influence mastery? Is it your emotional rapport building? Your, your ability to be in pain and yes strategy. You're conveying and creating your heroic unique identity. Or maybe it's agreement formation. Are you in self influence or process mastery? Where are you in the focus of your micro distinctions as these make the greatest difference? So with that, you know, I would like to kick over, you know, 10 seconds, five seconds for you to, you know, take, take a second and, you know, share what's present for you on trajectory Tuesday. What, is that micro distinction. Um, let's take a second and drop that in the chat. So let's see what we got. We have Jack Reader, time blocking commitment, Dimple, speaking truth, speaking the truth, Nani, focus on the heart, Dimple once again in service of others and myself, Kent, becoming heart-centered in my influence mastery. Sorry for the noise. We have Martha to write more. We have Ina. Ina? My, my apologies. We'd love to hear how you say your name. Journaling. We have Craig from SoCal. Vocabulary. Native. Time blocking. Erica, being in my heart. Joseph, it's doing what's difficult each day to move the needle forward. Nick, choosing to be happy no matter what. These are beautiful, um, deep-centered micro-distinctions in the world of integrity-based human influence. And keep them coming. Drop them in the chat. Love to hear the energy. And let's, let's like, step in. So when we think of micro-distinctions, um, depending on where you are and you're focusing the formula, self, influence, or process mastery, um, let's discuss self-mastery as it's an area that we do not chat about, you know, very often. And, you know, we're stepping into within Mastery Academy. And thank you, everyone, you know, for your patience there. Um, videos are coming. And we're excited to continue the module in a much, much deeper focus in the world of self-mastery. So yesterday, if you were on the huddle, and by the way, thank you for all of, the, um, all, all of you who have been on the huddle multiple times and all of you who may be here for the first time, you know, welcome from wherever you are. Hello. And thank you so much for being here. So when we talk about self-mastery you know yesterday we we spoke or sean shared that better said uh, about being kind to yourself being kind to yourself and you know on these morning huddles um we come here to work on our mastery and to check in uh, wherever we are in the world you know contemplation and reflection time um for me it's called thinking time it could be called you know, whatever it is for you in that time, um, which is process mastery, time blocking, which is self mastery journaling. What do you write about? Or even, even, you know, before that, who likes to write? Who, like when, when I say write, what is the emotion, the gut feeling? You know, I say, write one page, you feel blank. I say, you know, write a sentence, you feel blank. I say, write a paragraph, you feel blank. How often do you time block to journal? Um, 
and take the thoughts that are running through your mind. And we're in the, we're in the subsection, we're in the subsection of self mastery, which is called journaling. We're in the subsection, which is, you know, obviously it's all together. Influence mastery conversation with yourself. We have process mastery time blocking. We are speaking in the silo of self mastery journaling. What do you do with your thinking time? That's what it is for me, for Sean, executive decision making time. You know, what is it for you? Um, when is the time that you go into your inner Santorum and have that conversation? Because here's a fun fact sometimes we say, you know, we don't have enough time, or we say there's so much going on, or we say there's a million things to do, or some variation, or some variation um, of that communication. And when you pause and have that conversation with yourself and, you know, for everyone, I'm not like being anything, um, simply speaking through the prism of a conversation with yourself, self-awareness, self-management. We're in that style of emotional intelligence, different conversation for a different day. Back to journaling. So what do you do during your journaling time? Do you structure? Do you overstructure? Do you understructure? Do you flow? What is that for you? Because when we have a million thoughts and we pause and have that conversation with ourselves, we realize a million's more like 25 to 40. And 25 to 40 is a lot easier to manage than a million, I promise. In, in just basic numbers and math, 40 is a lot easier to manage than a million. And when you have that time to you know, organize structure, have a conversation, reflect, with your thoughts, you have an ability to you know, work on your self-mastery, one, which allows you to execute on your process mastery, rising your certainty to stay in your influence mastery. So you know, though these, all these three parts come and play together. And today, you know, today we're talking about self-mastery journaling and always looking through the prism of the formula. Um, the formula has an answer for, you know, uh, one thing Sean says, and we don't say very often, like the unblinded results formula is a formula to achieve any result you want, period. Whether it is to lose weight, whether it is to you know, get more sales, whether it is to find more partners, whatever the yes is for you, the, through the prism of the formula, that can be complete. And today, you know, today we took some time to discuss journaling. So here's my request. Here's my request to you. Uh, try it. And this is coming from a guy, um, you know, true vulnerability, uh, couldn't stand like writing. It was so difficult for me to sit and, and do that. It's not natural. It's not natural. It's not like I, you know, I enjoy it now. And it's uh, almost, almost like a meditative state for me. I wouldn't change it for the world. Definitely wasn't natural. So I'm not going out there and saying, be, you know, William Shakespeare. I'm saying, have some fun. I'm saying, grab a piece of paper give yourself no structure, maybe give yourself a timer, maybe not, and just begin to write. Even if it makes no sense, write your mental flow, just write it out. Write it out in bullet points, write it out in sentences, draw pictures, whatever it is for you. Take an hour, take one hour from now till Sunday, one hour, and take your thinking time, whatever that version is for you, and have that hour, have that flow and journal, and journal. It's part of self-mastery. It's part of emotional intelligence, self-awareness, and self-management. Um, and you know, for our, all our visuals out there, and even everyone who's kinesthetic and auditory, when you can have a conversation with yourself, um, you can begin to self-manage, and then you can begin to show up in your social awareness, which is influence mastery, and then you know, relationship currency. So to everyone, today's topic and today's focus is journaling. And I'd love to hear, you know, what happens. And let's talk about it next Tuesday. Let's talk about it next Tuesday. Um, let's come here. Let's talk about micro distinctions. Let's talk about our experience in journaling. And let's have that experience. And to everyone, uh, thank you for being on here on Thankful Thursday. We're going to cut this one here nice and early as our goal is to be under 15 minutes. I love y'all. Have a blessed day. And thank you for being part of Unblinded. Bye-bye.